sink. Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwark, and for the first time in... I don't know, I think it's been like a month, XCOM is back! Yeah, it's been a real difficulty for me to get back into the swing of recording things, but I finally managed to drag myself to do this about an hour after I normally would have had this episode uploaded. Uh, so, you know, when this episode eventually gets up late, that's why. Now, because it's been so long since I put this series on hiatus, I don't really remember what we were doing. So, let me just check a, take a look here. Soldiers... Um, a lot of my best ones are wounded. I th was the last thing we did the um, the what you call it, the base assault defense. That seems likely. Let me see the situation room. We've got one free satellite to launch. And I don't think I decided where to launch it, though Mexico wouldn't be a bad choice of place. Hmm. It's tough, though, because there are a lot of countries here that have pretty high panic levels, so... I don't know when the uh, next alien mission is, but... Let me take a look at the facilities. So we get a satellite nexus in four days, two satellites in three days, and since the month won't end within four days, I actually do feel pretty safe in launching this satellite over Mexico. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional I know. I know. I just really don't care. Now we'll be getting some more satellite facilities very soon. Which is excellent. Mm, research. Well, guess there's nothing else to do but mission control and scan for activity. Exalt Operation Propaganda in Brazil. Panic has been increased. Exalt Agitation has increased panic. The Exalt cell is exposed for now, but will go into hiding soon. Well, we have to respond to that. Because that is a seriously not okay thing. Though, with my satellite over there, and Aroa isn't who I usually like using as my covert operative. Alexander is, but... Oh, he's not actually... Okay, so Alexander, you are my secret agent. With a plasma pistol, and... No, no scope. How about the nanofiber vest? Boost his health. Now hold it, wait a minute. Aroa, oh, she was just carrying a... Okay, well then... Yeah, that looks good. Covert operative deployed to disrupt. We've been at it for days now. All I can think about is my bunk. So, covert operation, six days. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders.
Eh, nothing here we really need to do. Hmm. Scientists employed by the government of China think it may be possible to pinpoint the source of the explosives used in Exalt's rocket launchers. If we supply the weapon they've asked for, they're willing to provide generous compensation in return. The source of the... Oh! They want to find out where Exalt is getting their explosives? See, that's something I should really acquiesce to, especially with a... Well, it's a tiny reward. I mean, I do kind of want to hold on to the rocket launchers, but I don't really have any use for them, so there you go, China. Enjoy. Satellite Nexus online. And that would be the Satellite Nexus. Let me take a look at our facilities. So, theoretically we should now have... ...enough in the way of satellites to... ...or at least enough in the way of... ...satellite coverage that we could handle every country in the council. I don't know, we would actually come up a little short. But whatever. We have spare satellites. I'm gonna send one Satellite to Germany. Launched. China has a lot of money to offer. At this point, I'm looking for who can give me the most money. China, Japan, India, Australia... Wait a minute. Hangar. So... I have no planes... in Asia or Africa. Hmm. Although I do have enough planes that I can, like, send them to Asia and or Africa. And what about my progress towards trying to get the, um... The new, better, uh, plane. Actually, I think I need to go to research for that. Okay, so UFO power source is definitely a component in that research. I think what we need to do... ...is find somewhere that's not too likely to be attacked soon. South America is probably foremost there. Send them to wherever we want to send our planes, which I think is Asia. Because Asia can give us more money than Africa. And then we launch our satellites Satellite launched. over the rich countries. Oh, I thought I had another satellite. Well, whatever. Still get plenty of money from... from China. Let's assign some new research. The Illyrium Generator. With a new mech. So, new fighter craft. 
This is absolutely what I want. After extensive study of the alien gravity warp drive, as well as their power and navigational systems, we believe it should be possible to incorporate aspects of their design into a craft of our own. Gravity Warp Drive. Okay, now, what exactly kind of... engine would a gravity warp drive be? Okay, so, generally in science fiction, a warp drive is some kind of engine that in some way uh, bends or warps the fabric of reality so as to reduce the distance between two points. Ergo, you can still mo travel below the speed of light while your actual velocity allows you to go further than sublight travel would generally allow you. And, and that's generally in science, and that's science fiction generally in, like the term warp drive comes from Star Trek, and I believe in Star Trek their warp drives actually sort of, I, I believe the way it works is they create kind of a warp bubble around the ship and transport it into an alternate plane of space where there are... where spatial dimensions are smaller and just keep a bubble of regular space around it, so... I guess what I'm trying to say here is I have absolutely no clue exactly what this gravity warp drive is. I, I mean, why would you drop the word gravity in there, too. Is it like a warp drive that can also counteract gravity? S by which I mean a warp drive and also some thrusters. Because, let's face it, all, all you really need to counteract gravity is just, like, some equivalent force going in the opposite direction. Like, if you can create, uh, at least... 9.81 meters per second per second acceleration in the upward direction, that counteracts gravity. And it's very easy for something with relatively low mass. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As I've discussed with you guys, I uh, recently went through, um, through finals week and one of those finals was a physics final. So, I've got physics on the mind. Especially since that was easily the hardest final I had. I don't think I managed to clear a B on that. It was tough. But that is beside the point! Jesus, I'm going to be spending this whole episode talking. In fact, this is really easing back into the series after a long hiatus. I probably shouldn't even start a mission this episode. This is just preparation. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Detected. And there is a UFO that has landed in Argentina. It's a large scout class. 11.57 a.m. June 25, 2015. A large scout has landed. <sighs> I always get scared when their ships land, because... That gives you, like... ...a lot more resistance than usual. But I think my soldiers... ...are in a good enough position to handle this. However, 
that we'll have to wait for next week. Until then, I am Lord Ravenwark, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!